Imagine rushing across the Japanese countryside at astonishing speed. The wheels of your vehicle don't even touch the ground, you're floating. This dreamlike experience will soon be a reality thanks to Japan's famous maglev bullet train, the fastest train in the world. This sounds amazing, right? Have you heard of this project? Don't worry, today you'll find out everything about it with us. Just watch the video until the end. So welcome back to the Genesis channel. Today we're talking about Japan's new levitating bullet train, how it works, and when it will be done. Before we continue the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. You'll certainly not regret your subscription because you'll see more interesting videos and learn something new. Now if you've done this and you're comfortable, we can begin. Levitating trains sound futuristic, but they may come sooner than you think. Japan is in the process of building the world's fastest passenger train, a levitating bullet train. The train will be revolutionary. It will move at twice the speed of the old bullet trains, cutting journey times in half. And can you guess why that is? It's because it has no wheels. Can you imagine that? The levitating bullet train Japan is building started construction in 2014 and is expected to finish in 2027. It'll be 90% underground because the trains go the fastest on a straight track and they wanted to avoid Japan's earthquake-prone coast. This tunnel and track add up to a shocking $64 billion. Let's take a look at how maglev trains work. SC maglev, or superconducting magnetic trains, were developed by the Central Japan Railway Company and the Railway Technical Research Institute. It works on the principle of magnetic repulsion between the cars and the track. The word maglev is a combination of the words magnetic and levitation. The magnetic levitation, or floating of the train, is achieved through the use of an electrodynamic suspension system, or EDS. The rails, or guideways, contain two sets of cross-connected metal coils wound into a figure-eight pattern to form electromagnets. On the train itself are superconducting electromagnets called bogies. When stopped, the train rests on rubber wheels. To begin the motion, the train moves forward slowly on these wheels, allowing the magnets beneath the train to interact with those of the guideway. Once the train reaches 150 km per hour, 93 miles per hour, the magnetic force is strong enough to lift the train 100 mm off the ground, eliminating friction to allow for increasingly high speeds. The same magnetic forces that lift the train also move it forward and keep it centered within the guideway. This is the same technology used by Tesla's Hyperloop, which makes the ride smooth and the train exceptionally safe. But what is the maglev train's top speed? Without the friction that comes with wheels, it can move at 311 miles per hour. For reference, commercial passenger jets fly at a speed of about 460 to 575 miles per hour. Including the time it takes to go through the airport, the train will be faster in many circumstances. In 2009, this system of railways was approved and entered commercial construction. It is planned to link Tokyo and Nagoya by the year 2027. The trip is expected to take only 40 minutes, faster than either flying between the two cities or taking one and a half trips on the current Tokaido line, available with the Japan Rail Pass. The proposed route will include stops at stations in Shinagawa, Sagamihara, Kofu, Lida, and Naketsugawa but the original goal of levitating bullet trains was to produce a train that could cover the route from Tokyo to Osaka in less than one hour. This will be achieved when the maglev line is extended from Nagoya to Osaka, expected to be in operation by 2045. When completed, the train will include 16 carriages capable of holding 1,000 passengers. At present, the public has been invited to take part in maglev test rides. Tourists can visit the SC Maglev Parkway in Nagoya or the Yamanashi Prefectural Maglev Exhibition Center near the town of Otsuki to learn more and view maglev test runs. We're near the end of the video, but before the end, there's one more final question. Is there a future for high-speed trains? Definitely yes. The maglev may hold the current world records, but it will have its competitors. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has proposed selling the technology to the United States to build a maglev line between New York and Washington. At the same time, plans are underway for the Hyperloop train line from Los Angeles to San Francisco, California, USA, which may reach a speed of over 700 miles per hour. In the future, most other countries of the world will also connect their distant cities with this transport system, 
and reduce travel time, thus making travel much easier for their citizens and tourists. That's it for today. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. Before we part, don't forget to write comments in the comments section below. Also, please share the video and drop a like if you enjoyed it. For more videos like this one, turn on the notification. Have a nice day and see you again soon.